Smith, Dr. Yee, and board members. My name is Sopat May, and I am the director of the American Indian Model Schools. Thank you for this opportunity to present about the American Indian Public Charter School with regards to our charter renewal um, requests. I know the district has a lot of important work to do tonight, and I know we have provided you a lot of information about our school and the renewal petition and supporting documents. So we'll be keeping it short. I would like to take this time and this opportunity to share a little bit about myself. Um, my parents escaped the war in Cambodia, which is often to referred to as the killing fields and immigrated to the United States hoping to provide their children with a better life than they were afforded. During the first few years in America, life was tough for my family. We were extremely poor and dependent on public assistance to survive, like many families in Oakland. My parents did not speak English and were not able to locate jobs. I attended OUSD schools, Highland Elementary, um, Elmhurst Middle School, and Casamut High School. While at CASMA, I worked very hard. I had great school spirit and was involved in every school activity on campus. I was ranked fourth in my class, and I was accepted into UC Berkeley. I was extremely proud to be the first member of my family to attend college. However, once I began at UC Berkeley, I realized that I was utterly unprepared for college. I had graduated at the top of my class and I was unable to formulate a thesis statement. College was a huge struggle for me. In fact, I nearly dropped out. It was my strong work ethics and the knowledge that a great education was the key out of poverty that pushed me to continue and graduate. Now I have chosen to devote my life to educating the students of Oakland. The American Indian Public Charter School provides a first-rate education to every student who enters our doors. Our educational model has proven successful year after year. And in 2010, we achieved the highest API score out of any secondary school in the state of California, which with an API of 988. Please refer to the provided handout where you can see some of our outstanding statistics and awards that were achieved. Um, students who graduate from the American Indian Model Schools will be prepared to attend the most rigorous and highly regarded high schools and universities in America. Um, we make sure that no students who graduate from our school are sent into the world or off to college unprepared, as I was. Um, American Indian Public Charter School is proud, is proud to serve the city of Oakland and is dedicated to helping all of Oakland Unified School District students become the best in the nation. Um, now I would like to hand it over to Susanna Tinoco and Edward Moreno, who graduated from AIPCS. Um, once again, thank you for your time and for allowing us to share our experiences with everyone. I hope the OUSD board will support the work that the staff and students at AIPCS are doing and allow us to reach out to other students who want to be successful. Hello, good evening everybody. My name is Susanna Tinoco and I am an alumni of American Indian Public Charter School. I'd like to let you know a little bit about myself and um, my educational career in ties to why the AIPCS charter should be renewed. Um, like many others, my family came to the States in hopes of finding a better life and more specifically, my parents came to present myself and my brother with a better educational opportunity. Having themselves not attended um, even close to secondary school. Um, I attended OS the OUSD system since I was four, so I feel like I've seen a large spectrum of the educational system from good to bad. Uh, throughout the years, I've seen many of my peers fall through the cracks, and because of the lack of the comprehensive structure, I feel like many of them could have been where I'm standing now. Um, many of them getting pregnant, going into gangs, or even getting killed. Uh, luckily, my parents instilled very early in myself that schooling would be the only way out of the 
low socioeconomic tier. Um, I remember the transition from my overpopulated elementary school to American Indian where everyone knew each other on a first name basis. I came to AIPCS as a sixth grader in 2001, and at that time the school had recently undergone structural changes, um, trying to shake off the prior image of being just another low performing school in Oakland. I believe that because of the way the school is, it allowed many of the students to change for the better. Everyone wanted to be educated and everyone had an interest in putting forth the hard work required to be successful. And due to that, I believe that I was an instrumental part of infusing the American Indian model, model with the Oakland community. Every year that has passed, AIPCS has grown stronger and the sense of family is more prevalent than ever. Moreover, the academic performance at the school has also improved every year. I am still involved at the school, working as a tutor, and as someone who has gone through the school system, I have to say it has helped harbor a strong sense of community within myself and many of my former classmates with whom I still keep in contact with. I remember I had a teacher for three years. That's a long time to have one teacher who, who teaches every class. And it had a profound effect on my perception of educators who really care. It created a sense of family in the youth at AIPCS because everyone connected and appreciated the extra support and as a result of my hard work and the great educational structure I received from AIPCS, I am currently a college student at Merritt Community College. I stand here today asking you that the ODSD board continue to support AIPCS, giving students like myself the opportunity to learn and the opportunity to be someone. Thank you. Good evening, Dr. Smith, Dr. Yan, board members. Uh, my name is Edward Moreno, and I'm a graduate of the American Indian Public Charter School and of Dartmouth College. Um, thank you for giving me the, the chance to talk about my experiences at, Dar at AIPCS. Um, according to a study of FBI crime statistics by Congressional Quarterly, Oakland was ranked the fifth most crime-ridden city in the nation in 2010. I spent most of my life here in East Oakland, and I've experienced more than my share of tragedies in the city. I've survived gang violence, avoided dealers and pushers. I've had my family members pick up the pieces after our homes were robbed and vandalized. Um, in this unpredictable world, stability, safety, and uncertainty are in short supply. I quickly realized that the only escape from the volatile life in East Oakland was school. Unfortunately, school was rarely a reprieve from the, from the same peril I experienced in the street. And by the time I reached middle school in 1999, AIPCS was no exception. However, I heard that the school had undergone some changes and there was a new faculty in place. My remaining years at, uh, sorry, my remaining years at AIPCS were by far some of the most influential years of my life. Um, the school delivered on its promise to provide a safe place to learn and the drugs and fights disappeared. Uh, structure and discipline provided legitimacy to the education I was receiving. This, there was a sense of release, relief that my educational requirements were being met and consistency and follow through with conjunct in conjunction with effective reprimand created a stable environment. Every, every student needs to succeed. I owe much thanks to AIPCS because by the end of my time there, the outstanding teachers helped me move from pure potential to a successful, hardworking student. As a freshman at Dartmouth College, I struggled to remain afloat and acclimate to an environment so starkly different from that of the trash-ridden streets of 57th and East 15th. However, as the culture shock waned and I could see straight again, it was the discipline, the foresight, and along with self-worth, which were all instilled in me as a student at AIPCS, that allowed me to reorient myself with a Bachelor of Arts in Biology on the horizon. I am now a graduate of Dartmouth, soon to be working at the U.S. Geological Survey of the Department of Interior, and I can only be thankful for AIPCS for providing an oasis in the midst of the fiasco that was the public education system of Oakland. It is clear to me that stability, consistency, and the installation of self-worth are essential to providing students in Oakland a chance to succeed. A defeatist attitude plagues the city, and I believe AIPCS is one of only a handful of places that are working to remediate this affliction. I've been, I've been back to American Indian uh, many times since graduating, returning in the summers to help tutor. The school, the school has only gotten better since then. I, um, it is really an impressive place. Without AIPCS, my life wouldn't, would have gone a very different direction. I worked very hard to get where I am, and I'm proud of, uh, proud of it, but I recognize that I wouldn't have been able to do it on my own. I hope AIPCS can continue to help other students in the way that it has helped me. Thank you for your time. My name is Tanya Kapner. I am part of the BAM Civil Rights Coalition and the Oakland Education Association. And 
I am a proud defender of public education and believe in the right of every young person to a quality public education with real critical thinking and a full range of programs with dignity and honor and respect to the students. And you know, education is a civil right. I'm here to speak against renewing the American Indian uh, Charter because of the abuse of students, because of the segregated selection of students, because of a number of things. This is the kind of school where a teacher can have to leave if they show Obama's inauguration address. When we were lauding it and showing it in the public schools, teachers were strictly controlled um, around issues such as that. This is the kind of school where, as we've seen over the years and has been documented by not just the Mills students, not just the articles in the East Bay Express, but many, many people, this is the school where students have had their heads shaved publicly for humiliation purposes as discipline. This is a school that throws students out if they're not making the test scores. You know, it's easy to get good test scores when you pick people that test well and you focus on that as what your main priority is. And when you, you know, only continue to have students who have certain test scores. So to me, you know, and just the, the documentation by the Mills uh, college students of the staff there referring to young women's body parts in a, in a um, harassatory manner, I don't think that's a real word, but in a harassing manner. And it goes on and on and on. This is the school that stood with Schwarzenegger in the special election that claimed to be an Oakland public school when it's not, and sp st stood with Schwarzenegger in the special election attacking the unions and union rights. We need a real future for our students, decent jobs in this community. We need those opportunities for all students. This school is a sham. It is not delivering what it claims to deliver. Every student has a right to a quality education, and this is not the route, not the charter school route. Quality public education for all.